Hello viewers, and thank you for tuning into our vlog. I am Michael from MK Travel. This video will cover our review of an excursion offered on the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady entitled SS Sapona and Shark Snorkeling. The SS Sapona was designed by Henry Ford and started construction in 1911 by the Liberty Shipbuilding Company of Wilmington, North Carolina. During World War I, steel was getting very scarce. President Wilson had commissioned 24 ships to be constructed of steel and reinforced concrete. Yes, I said concrete. The French had been using concrete to build boats as far back as 1848, but the material had enjoyed very little popularity due to its excessive weight and resulting high operating costs. By the time the construction was complete in the 1920s, the war had nearly ended and the Sapona had only made one troop transport. The Sapona was decommissioned as a military vessel and sold off as scrap to a developer named Carl Fisher out of Miami Beach. Fisher had plans to make it into a floating nightclub but ended up mainly being used for oil storage. After those plans didn't work out, in April of 1924, the Sapona was sold to a rum runner named Bruce Bethel, and he moved the ship to the Bahamas. During its tenure in Bimini, she was used as a floating warehouse for rum and whiskey during the Prohibition era. In 1926, the Sapona was run aground on this reef during a hurricane, and the stern of the ship broke off from the rest of the ship. The ship was used as a backdrop in the 1977 horror film, Shockwaves. Here you can see what is left of some of the gears and possibly the main propulsion systems of the ship. Throughout the hull you see many creatures, including this long-spined sea urchin. They have very long, sharp spines and are best left admired from a distance. Here you can see what's left of the inside hull of the ship. You can see many, if not all the walls, have now been encrusted with coral and sponges.
This rust-colored coral is an encrusting coral and is known as a fire coral. It has a very painful sting which can last from a few days to a few weeks. If you do make this adventure to the ship, please make sure to wear dive gloves or be very cautious when touching any part of the ship. Some of these next few clips are from the stern area, which as we mentioned earlier, has been broken off from the main part of the ship. As we say goodbye to the Sapona shipwreck, we move on to our next location known as the Triangle Rocks. As we eagerly await our boat becoming anchored, you can see we already have a few visitors. And yes, these are real sharks and they are in the open ocean. They are not contained, nor are they trained. The sharks in the water here with us are Caribbean reef sharks and black nose sharks. The black nose sharks are considered near threatened, and the Caribbean reef sharks were added to the endangered species list in 2019. This part of the excursion was a huge bucket list item for me. I have been snorkeling for most of my life and scuba diving since I was in college, and in all that time in the ocean, I have never once seen a shark. The Bahamas are known as a shark sanctuary, meaning it's illegal to catch and kill sharks, and is home to some of the best shark snorkeling and diving in the world. For many people, the word shark alone is enough to bring images of gigantic monsters to mind, and even keep them from going in the ocean at all. Sharks have a preconceived notion that they are all out to eat people. It is through experiences like this that people can see them firsthand and experience the majesty of them. At no point during this adventure did I feel afraid for my life. It was a very calm and surreal experience that I highly recommend to anyone traveling to the Bahamas. Instead of having 20 or 30 people free floating and kicking and splashing all over the place, the crew had two lines floating on the surface tethered to the boat they asked everyone to hang on to. I stayed near it, but I did not hang onto the ropes as I consider myself a more advanced swimmer. You can see some of the other adventurers in the water at the surface just above.
After everyone was out of the water and roll call was complete, the sharks were given a few treats in appreciation of the event. The crew at Neil Watson Scuba made this trip fun, safe, and thoroughly enjoyable. This is a crew that takes out many of the photographers and videographers that film here in the Bahamas for Shark Week. I highly, highly recommend booking an excursion with them. Thank you for taking the time to view our video. A lot of work goes into the production of them. Please like and subscribe so you know when we post new content. Bye for now.